Hey guys, Mtast here, and today I wanted to talk about getting high ends, talk about getting the most gear per minute or hour, or whatever you want to talk about, to optimize your grind. I know that a lot of you can't play 8 hours a day like I do. I know that many of you are coming home from work and you want to get as much gear as possible to make those really cool builds. Well, let's talk about it. How do you get the most gear humanly possible in the shortest amount of time? All right, let's look at the map. Let's do this as quickly as we can. Daily missions are going to be the big one. These ones are highlighted with this marker. Now, at first, they're going to show up as gray. There's actually not going to be any rewards, but you'll still see this white marker around it. You need to go to the mission, hold down G, and you'll be able to choose the difficulty on that mission. Now, if you look at a standard challenging mission, you'll get some good experience and some good intel, and the rewards are all right as well. But if you go to one of these ones that is on challenging difficulty, as a daily mission, you are getting a ton of loot. I'm getting, what is that? One, two, three, four, five, six pieces? Six high-end pieces for one mission. Now, on challenging difficulty, it might be hard for some of you, but if you have an optimized build like me, I can run through some of these missions in 10, some of them even 5 minutes. I can sprint through because I have an end game build. For you, it might take 30 minutes or even 40 minutes on challenging difficulty, but that's still quite a few high-end pieces for one mission. And you also have to remember, this isn't even taking into account the fact that you can get, um high ends to drop from random enemies and there's also typically multiple chests in one mission to get high ends as well so this one mission this might be like 10 10 high ends from one mission the other thing too is you're going to get a big chunk of experience here this chunk of experience is going to be very helpful to get those field proficiency caches for leveling up but you're also going to get some target oops, you're gonna get some target intel, which is very valuable for doing bounties, which is gonna be the next big thing. So if you can, run it on challenging. There's gonna be another one that is the hard difficulty mission. You can run it on hard, um, but if you're able to turn it up to challenging, uh, you might want to just because you get more rewards and, uh, and more intel, but there's at least the hard difficulty mission if you need. Typically, there's also a stronghold you can replay. Uh, I think I already did it, but that's going to be another chunk of massive amounts of, ex uh, of experience as well as high ends. So do your dailies every day. That should be priority number one. Now, the other thing is bounties. So with bounties, I have already completed them, and unfortunately, you're not going to see as many lucrative rewards because it, it's taking away the bonus. But typically, if you're jumping into a bounty, you're going to get one two, or even three items. If you look at, uh, if you look at this one here, I'm getting three high-end equipment pieces for beating uh, one named enemy, okay? I could run through this thing very, very quickly. I'm talking two, three minutes, and you can get three high-ends guaranteed, as well as uh, other high-ends that you might get. But if you're doing um, like this one, this is a heroic one. So after you complete all the different bounties, you get a heroic one. You can only see three items here, but typically this is like five to ten items. Like this is, it's a massive, massive amount of items that you get for getting all the way to the heroic ones. These are very difficult, but getting through these bounties can be awesome for the time involved. Because even on the heroic difficulty, these bounties are like five to ten minutes at, at most. And you're going to get another seven, eight, nine uh, high-end items in some cases. So definitely, definitely do the bounty system. So that would be kind of the order. Do the dailies, right? Do the dailies, get those items as well as the, the bounty intel. Then go do your bounties, as many as you can, and start making your way to the to the center. There's typically one with like a like a circle around it, or, or, or it's kind of like a, a heroic one that you need multiple pieces or multiple uh, battles to unlock the next stage. And then do those bounties. Then, after that, there's two options for you. I'm going to recommend two different things. Number one is control points leveled up to tier three. So currently this control point is level one, but by doing the side activities that are linked to it, it will level it up to level two, level three, and eventually level four. 
But level 3 is the sweet spot because you're going to get a bunch of good enemies to kill for loot, but it's going to give you a blueprint for completing it. There are a bunch of them, probably 20 or 30 blueprints that you can only get from doing these control points. Right here I got a large suppressor for a 5.56. You're also going to have access to that room uh, to get loot from where there's usually, you know, a weapon chest, an armor chest, and then there's like a big combo chest with multiple pieces in it. This is good for getting the gear for your character, but more importantly, it's for some of the best mods in the game. One example of this, um, I mean, don't 100% quote me on it, but like this one. This is a crit chance site. I'm pretty sure I got this from a... Uh, uh, one of those control points. There's another um, guy here. This one's a crit damage stability. I think this one came from one as well. Some of these really hard-hitting awesome mods come from control points. So make sure you do that because it's going to be a, a good, you know, time, uh, time usage. The next one, and this one's going to be more risky, but the dark zone. The Dark Zone is extremely valuable as well. If you're going in there solo, if you're going in there as a team, you can get some crazy loot per minute or loot per hour. Uh, you just have that, that risk of it getting stolen. But even if you're not extracting, you could still get a shitload of loot. I'm talking a crazy amount of loot. If you're efficient and you're killing stuff and you have a decent build, you can run into the Dark Zone and farm out two, three, four high-end pieces per landmark. And some of them only take like five minutes, maybe 10 minutes to complete. So if you're farming out that many, you're gonna get like 20, 30 high ends in an hour. It's unbelievably good. So check out the Dark Zone, and that would be my final recommendation. You can run around, you can explore, you can find chests, but doing these activities that give a guaranteed reward will be definitely worth your time. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed the video, and I will see you soon, my friends. And uh, before I go, just one quick thing, make sure to like the video, subscribe and hit that bell button to turn on notifications, and if you're interested in a kick-ass energy drink with no calories, no sugar added, a beautiful boost to your energy for studying, homework, uh, uh, editing videos, check out Advanced. Mtashed for 10% off at checkout. Bye-bye.